very good afternoon to all of you. Cyclodialysis cleft is the separation of the ciliary body from the sclera secondary to blunt trauma and it occurs as a complication of a surgical intervention and more commonly as a result of uh, burn trauma which we see very often in our clinics. The extent of the cyclodialysis cleft may vary causing persistent hypotony in the patients. Various techniques have been described for the management of these clefts such as cryopexy, encircling band which we just heard from Dr. Kumar, suturing the cleft etc. However, there is a paucity of techniques described in literature for the management of large cyclodialysis clefts which are more than 180 degrees in extent. So the primary objective of this study was to evaluate the efficacy and complications of a novel technique described as sewing machine technique for the management of these large cyclodialysis clefts and also to evaluate the visual improvement after the cleft repair has been done. So this was a retrospective study of all the patients diagnosed to have a large cyclodialysis cleft from 2017 to 22. The medical record of all these patients were evaluated uh, having a diagnosis of large cleft and all the other details were uh, noted including the kind of repair that was done for the cleft. Also a note was made of the post-surgical complications. Large cyclodialysis cleft was defined as a cleft more than 180 degrees in extent on gonioscopy which was further confirmed on doing a UBM. All the patients with large cleft who underwent sewing machine technique of cleft repair between 17 to 22 in the retina clinic of a tertiary eye care hospital of North India with a minimum follow-up of six months were included in the study. And the patients who were excluded were those who had a cleft less, less than 180 degree, patients with cleft repair done other than the sewing machine technique, follow-up less than six months or they were having hypotony due to a reason other than a cleft. So this is a video which is going to be uh, showing the technique that has been used by us. Old boy with badminton racket injury to the right eye and vision of 624 and 24 and a pressure of 2 millimeters of mercury. There was subluxated lens and hypotony maculopathy. There was 360 degree cyclodialysis cleft. Here's how a sewing machine works. There's a threaded needle above the fabric. When it pierces the fabric, a rotating shuttle hook below catches the thread. We present the sewing machine technique to repair a cyclodialysis cleft. Lensectomy and vitrectomy was done followed by intraopgonioscopy to confirm the extent of the cleft. A scleral flap was made and 10-0 proline suture was threaded into a 26 gauge needle. the needle was cut off. The needle with proline suture was passed through the cleft and a loop was taken out which was kept in place with the help of a 30 gauge needle. This was repeated multiple times and multiple loops were taken out which were kept in place with the help of the 30 gauge needle. needle was extended to keep all the loops in place and the suture was finally pulled out and the tenoproline suture was then passed through all the loops the 30 gauge needle was removed and the suture was tightened. This was repeated on the other side as well.
which showed a vision of 69N6 with an intraocular pressure of 18 millimeters of mercury. So this child underwent a secondary IOL implantation at 6 months of follow-up and finally at 12 months follow-up he regained a vision of 69N6 with a minus 1 diopter sphere correction and a, he had a pressure of 18 millimeters of mercury. So these are the 5 patients uh, whom we have managed in a similar way of doing the cyclodialysis cleft repair and all these patients had more than 180 degrees of cleft. So we had 5 patients with an average age of 17 all had large cyclodialysis cleft with more than 180 degrees. 4 had blunt trauma while one had a TRAB history. The IOP at the time of presentation was around 3.4 and average follow-up of all these patients was more than 6 months. The average post-op IOP was 10 millimeters of mercury and we noted no post-op complication. Therefore, to conclude, large cyclodialysis clefts more than 180 degree in extent are difficult to treat. Sewing machine technique is a technique that can be used to repair these large cyclodialysis clefts which offers a treatment option without any post-surgical complication. However, further confirmation of the efficacy of this technique may require a larger number of patients to be managed by this technique through a prospective multicentric study. Thank you so much. Do you have a schematic uh, of this procedure, uh, the uh, animation? Yes. Uh, I won't be having it right now, okay. sir. Yeah. So. To, for us to understand better. Absolutely, uh, sir. What is the average number of punctures that have gone in? So that depends upon what size of the cleft that we are dealing for a with. 360 degree. For a 360 degree, I would say about eight, eight to nine. And uh, these are all exposed or sub subconjunctival. They're all subconjunctival. Subconjunctival. Yeah. So the 360 degree peritomy, peritomy was yeah. done. Oh. And uh, then a scleral flap is made at 12 o'clock so that you bury the knots there. The rest are all just the loops which are going. Given the number of punctures, is there an immediate post-operative hypotony? Not really. No. No. Any similar technique described earlier? Not to the best of my knowledge. I did review the literature thoroughly. There are a lot of techniques described for smaller clefts, but not for a more than 180, 180 degree. More than 180. And uh, people have tried encircling band like Dr. Kumar showed. But again, it has had a 50% success rate. Thank you, ma'am.